As we look around us, many would believe that we are at the end of the age. Whether this is the exact time or not, I don't know, but it certainly seems like, biblically speaking, we are close to that end when Jesus would return. In Luke 21, 34, it says, and take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, so that day, speaking of the end of the age, that day may come upon you unaware, for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch therefore and pray always, notice, that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Of course, that, that, that day, the tribulation, seven years of, you know, the worst hell on earth. You don't want to go into that. And of course, the, the answer is Jesus Christ, the gospel, the good news that believing on Jesus Christ, you'll be saved. and you'll be spared from that time. So we need to be seeking the Lord, praying and looking to Him. Do you know Jesus? The Bible says in Romans 10, I know that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Then in verse 13 of Romans 10, it says, For whosoever... That's all of us. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call upon his name. His name is Jesus. Jesus Christ, the, the Son of God, who is God the Son. He is also truly God. John 1.12 tells us, But as many as received him, that's receiving Jesus, to them he gave the power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. And then 1 John 5, 11 says, and this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. Whoever has the son of God has life. Whoever has not the son of God has not life. Very important things. In, in Revelation 3, 20 says, behold, I stand at the door, knock, if any man hear my voice and open up, I will come into, into him and have some supper with him and he with me, talking about friendship, intimacy. That's what we need. We need to open our hearts to Jesus Christ. We need to receive him as our Lord and Savior. We need to repent, turn from, you know, the direction that we've been going on and turn unto him. It's really that simple. Turn from sin to Jesus. Turn from from. You know, heading to hell, to heading to heaven through Jesus Christ. There's no other way. Time is short. We don't know how much time we have. And this is just a message to encourage you that if you call upon the name of Jesus Christ, as, as Paul said in Romans, you will be saved. Turn your life over to him. Surrender to Jesus Christ today. God is good. He's good all the time. And, and he has a perfect plan for you in his sight. Submit yourself to Jesus. God bless you.